there, this is Annie and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make another very delicious paneer dish. It's called paneer makhani. It is really popular and it is really delicious. Let's have a look at the ingredients right here. 250 grams of paneer, 200 grams of fresh cream, puree of two tomatoes, two tablespoons of dry kasuri methi, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, one chili finely chopped, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, two to three tablespoons of butter or oil, and salt to taste. Let's get started with the paneer makhani. We're gonna start by melting the butter. Now, a tip about melting butter. To the butter, I'm gonna add my chili. A fine chop the chili. Should be about one chili here. Of course, if you like your uh, dish to be more spicy, you can add more chili to it. Here's the puree of two tomatoes. All I've done is cut the tomatoes and ran it through the food processor, and this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna add this absolutely wonderful dry leaf called kasuri methi. I'm gonna add that. It just gives a very, very unique and fabulous flavor. Almost all spices used moderately in Indian cooking always has some kind of benefits in Ayurveda for your health. It's just smelling fabulous in here. The tomato is cooking really well. To this, I'm gonna add all my dry spices. I'm gonna add some red chili powder, garam masala, and I personally like cinnamon in this dish, I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon powder. Now, if you don't like the flavor of cinnamon, you can always leave it out. Now is a good time to add the cream. Give it a nice, good stir, evenly. And I'm gonna add the paneer now. Again, you could have sauteed this mildly in some oil and made it golden brown, but we're gonna do the healthy version and just add the fresh paneer. Looking and smelling so good. The combination of the methi and the butter is just incredible. I'm just gonna cover the dish and let it cook for a few seconds. Let's add some salt. This is supposed to be a saucy dish, so you don't wanna overcook the cream, so I'm gonna turn off the stove. And yet, let it simmer. Paneer makhani is absolutely fabulous and ready to be served. This is just the perfect dish to have with some cooked basmati rice or some roti. You can get all that yummy sauce. Your delicious and really, really buttery paneer makhani is ready to be served. 